Hello, it's Sarah, and I just wanted to come on and tell you what I've been up to. Um, my husband is going crazy with the Glowforge, so let's talk about... First, I went to the dollar store. That's what I wanted to tell you. Oh, see, look. It cut me, though, because I went to untwist the thing, and I knew that the sticker wasn't on. It's a dollar or something. The plastic got me. It cut my finger. Anywho, I used it for my smoothie, and it was awesome for a dollar, and it has a sugar skull on it. So, anyway, but I also found this sugar skull. Um, they have all their Halloween shapes, lots of them. My dollar store had six, at least six different shapes to choose from, little kids' designs that then they give you the, you know, we've all seen these before, but I love sugar skull, so I got that. And I, plus I try not to buy too much stuff, you guys, even if it's a dollar. I don't like it because I already have so much. Anywho, the stencils. I would recommend, there's two stencils in here. Two pieces for a dollar. This one says, Happy Halloween, and has all the images. And on the other side, Trick or Treat, and other images. And this I thought would be fantastic if you wanted to make a Halloween... What is it called? Mandala. Okay. Because you could put these little shapes in there and then it gives you a jumping off point, right? And then this is the other set that I used. Um, we actually etched Home Sweet Haunted Home on um, a glass. Hey, Joe, can you bring me the glass? He's making hot dogs. Dang it on one of the um, dollar store plates. I traced, you have to, for the for the Glowforge to see it, it has to be like this, because then I'll get to this. So I made this. It started out with nothing blocked in, like none of this black blocked in, it was just the line work. And he took a picture of that. Then I blocked in the, the yin yang and the checks. But then I thought, yeah, the hearts needed to be locked in. So I just kept going. Hey, babe! Oh, I don't know where he is. Okay. Um, home Sweet Haunted Home. And this one is so cool. Look at this. It has, I mean, they're not cheesy. They're not the most strong either. I want to say it's kind of like paper. But for a Halloween project for a dollar, I don't think it's bad at all. This one bent. So I would say it's like a strong, a coated paper. Um, but look at this. I love the silhouette stuff. Oh, it's backwards because that says boo. A witch, a cat, a crow. And it made me think of all these other things that I've bought and I never used. I have boo, a hat, jack-o'-lantern, crow, and a cat. Um, because I was thinking I would do a bigger piece and then you could glue these to the sides of it, you know, with accents. Tracy Moreau does that a lot. And by the way, my painting friend, Tracy Moreau, um, has a YouTube channel that she does, uh, short-ish for a decorative painting, um, tutorials. She has her own patterns and, um, website for you to buy them all so I recommend going I've caught her live from time to time but usually it's Saturday at noon and that's when Maya's here okay back to our regularly scheduled programming so so cute that was my dollar star store haul okay then yeah I took this just took it whoopsie I don't want to put that there right out of here and placed it inside the Glowforge I think it's called the Glowforge Plus. It took a picture of this image. And then Joe was able to cut it out. Hey Joe, yeah. can you bring me the plate that we etched? Yeah, but it didn't really work, remember? Yeah, but I want to see it. Okay. Um, anywho, because you need to do um, different strengths of depending on the wood you put under and stuff different strengths of cutting he's learned this is all within the first week I don't even think we've had it in a week for a week um all right either huh it's all right never mind it's okay 
but this is so cool. Now I want to try and paint this because what we've discovered is also when you peel off whatever you print, okay, now he's peeled all these, but look, there's a masking tape, okay, because what happens is it saves the wood from getting um, overburn, which I like overburn, but not for this. It keeps it, so then you peel the masking tape off and it's pristine underneath. First things first. My serenity. And look at this, we both laughed. Keep it simple. It's not, this is not, he, he forgot his question mark, he said. Because it's not very simple font. This would be better at, you know. I said let go and let God would look beautiful like this. But he's just playing with what the machine can do. Um, so what else did I want to show you? But, but what I was saying about the, the wood, this is called like a press board. And I think this would take color just fine. This is, they give you the most, they give you a little kit when you buy it of a sample of about like, I think we still have acrylic we haven't used, just like the silhouette. Acrylic and we haven't tried the walnut. They give you just a, a sample piece. This is called like, I don't know, I, I want to call it MDF. It's like a composite wood, and this is, I don't know, I think they call this basswood, and it looks the same, because look, here's a wood burning I just did last night. Um, it looks the same, I want to say this is basswood, but it has been treated. So, I'm going to try and put some um, paint on here and see if it takes. But, that being said, I still have not decided what it is I'm you Okay, this is, I know, okay. He said, he comes in, he's like, Sarah, can you just make me a little mandala, what you do? And I get all panicky, like, what do you mean? What do you need? So then I just sat down and I put a few of my main design things that I like, my sun and my moon, my yin yang, uh, you know, and I was really happy with it. And let me show you what he did. I'm going to go right to the big one. He made a sign. My Serenity Crafts. He put my name. And it's all my own artwork. That's what I love the most. It's not someone else's. But I could have burned this. Yes. But this took like... See, this is what I mean like overburn. See, there's tape on the back of here. But we might use this for something else. I don't know. We're just practicing. And then once you, he has this into the computer, like it scan, the Glowforge scans it itself. Okay, it takes a picture with the camera that it has. And then it's in the computer and he can save it into his files. So now we have this, right? Because let me show you what else he made. First, I was like, make a keychain. So the first one we did, I threw out because the line, let me come in closer. The line around it, I did with a different marker, the very outside line. So it basically made a jack, it made like a, um, uh, a cog on the outside of it, but it was, it was halfway done and stuff. It wasn't that, all right, let me put it down. I don't want to move. So this was the like not colored in one. All right, yes, the yin yang in that because the very first one wasn't colored at all. And so the heart, so the not colored in here. Let me see. Yeah, the little dots. But look at the difference. It went down that small, but wait, it gets smaller. Then he made this. Well, then he made this one with the color. And I love it so much. It's so cute. Oop, look, this even has a piece of tape still on it. You have to peel off every little piece of masking tape, though. Um, I gotta be in the shot. But look how cute, you guys. And but wait, let me come up with tights because I don't want to get. Look, because I'm thinking like key keychains, right? 
He did this with the one that wasn't blackened in. And it's just a bigger version of, I mean, a smaller version of the big guy, which I love. But then he did it in this size. Same thing. I'll come up so you can see them both. They're both in here with me. Um, so, really, really cool stuff. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm not a salesman for this at all. I have no affiliation to, or it's just like a, having a Cricut and sharing what I make on my Cricut. It's just different. And, you know, um, I think we're going to do a giveaway where we're going to make a phone stand. This, this phone stand or something similar. Because one thing, we, they have phone stand um, uh, templates, you know what I mean? Um, this one I got from Tracy Moreau's vendor. I don't remember the vendor off the top right now, but she has her own vendor. Something wood, I forget. And I love this phone stand so much. I've painted several. I've wood burned them. Um, my phone is here. Uh, when Maya put hers on, she has pop sockets in the back. We made her one from the um, templates that they had, and her pop sockets almost pushed it off because it, it had smaller um, feet for the phone to stand on, so it's a consideration. You know, we want to make sure that when we, if we do create them, that they have, you know, they fit all the phones. But I think we're going to put this on that, and I'm going to do a giveaway. So we'll make a little My Sarandi Crafts phone holder. Maybe we'll make like three or four. I don't know. We'll see. And um, we'll do a giveaway. Um, and that was Joe's idea. I think that's super cool. Ah, uh, finally, what I wanted to share was, remember I painted these two Chris Hoy Santas? All I did was trace them onto one of my mandalas, one of my pieces, my raw woods, my blanks. I traced them onto an eight inch one, I think. And then I went down and I used, actually I used a band saw because we don't have, I think we might have a scroll saw, but it's not working. And I kind of really tweaked these, but I got myself two ornaments that I could use for the class because she's been doing, again, She's the owner and operator of um, Cupboard Distributing. Um, she's an awesome painter as well and has lots of cool, cool designs. These are both free classes, you guys. Um, I want to say, I'm going to look at my phone real quick, but I think one of these is coming up um, this month. Oh, it's not even September yet. September. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. September, oh geez, I think it's the 21st. I don't have it marked on here. I don't know why. Um, anywho, she has these two, it's a whole family. So she did a Gingy, a snowman, and a Santa. And so what do you think I did? I had Joe cut me my Gingy and my Snowy. Oh look, he didn't know that I didn't want all the details and he cut it out with all the painted details like this is the the tracing which I won't use the tracing for any of this all freehand at all like I freehanded all this you know but it was so cute but I'll just use the back and I'll paint my snowy but it took five seconds like this takes much longer because I think it's considered etching and it goes back and forth and it's like a lot of dots but when you just cut it out and see this is the overburn that I was telling you about but when I peel this all the overburn disappears I'm gonna do it with you because I want to show you something and I'm curious I'm pretty sure he didn't do this on basswood because the only reason I say basswood to him is if I want to burn it like if he cuts me out phone stands I want to burn the sugar skull pattern on there um, I need it to be I want it to be a nice wood that I can uh, burn without too much trouble so what I mean by that is not having um, too many wood grain lines and things that are gonna fight with me um, but this I believe is MDF and so it's a great surface for painting and I think it's a very cheap surface as well 
but I don't need these to be, but see that's the difference. This still has the tape on it with the overburn, so all that, all this comes off. See, this is all the overburn on the paper. And then the piece has nothing, just that nice dark edge. Anyway, um, so, oh, and that's not all, because I had him, I wrote my name, and then we did etch my name. The Glowforge did it. I mean, I could have burned it, and actually, speaking of that, I need to put my name on the back of here. I forgot. But I, last night when I was done, like I should sand this. It's just probably paint from my um, mat. Um, I always spray it with a, um, I go outside and I spray it with a, um, a matte sealer. Because at least it gives me a little bit of a barrier when I paint and I'll do a tutorial for you for me with me painting this and I've never done it before it's brand new um, so I will be making some decisions as well um, along the way all right you guys so that is what I've been up to let me bring this into the shot oh that's the other thing and then these these are the most fantastic surprise that I had because I gave them a list of all the slogans for 12 step programs first things first Keep it simple, which this is not simple. I already showed you these. But these I'm very excited about because I can gift them or I may be putting things in my Etsy store. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to keep that there so it can take a nice uh, thumbnail. All right. Thanks for watching.